Generative AI is one of the most exciting innovations, and with your Adobe apps and services, you can streamline a variety of creative tasks. So what is Generative AI? Generative AI, or Gen AI, is a type of artificial intelligence that enhances creativity. With simple text prompts, you can unlock, experiment, and imagine new possibilities, all with Adobe applications. Think of it almost like a creative copilot, something that works with you to create and enhance assets so you can meet the content demands while still being commercially safe. There are multiple Adobe apps that utilize and unlock the power of Gen AI. To give you an idea of what Adobe products have this feature, I have a few on the screen like Adobe Firefly or Adobe Express along with others. And Adobe is working to expand these Gen AI capabilities into other Adobe Creative Cloud apps. These Adobe products use different generative AI credits, and those credits depend on your account type. So let's get into a few questions. What uses generative credits? It's all about the action rather than the results. For example, selecting an action such as Generate, Load More, or Refresh can generate multiple results. But credit consumption isn't determined by the number of generated results. It's by how many times you select an action. For example, selecting Generate in Generative Fill debits only one credit. Here you can see how credits are deducted based on the action within an Adobe product. But let's give you a few examples. So for example, if you use Generative Fill or Text to Image in Adobe Express, that would deduct one credit from your monthly allotment while other actions like text to templates or text effects won't deduct any credits for a limited time. If you want to get the latest information on how credits are used, please check out the links on this page. How do I know how many generative credits I have? To check how many generative credits you have, just go to account.adobe.com. Then go to your profile icon and you should see how many generative credits you have left. Keep in mind that generative credits don't roll over from month to month. And if you have multiple subscriptions, then the total number of generative credits available is the aggregate of what is included in each plan. What if I go over my Gen AI credit limit? Let's go over a few scenarios if you go over your monthly Gen AI credit limit. Creative Cloud and Adobe Stock paid users can keep taking generative AI actions, but using generative AI features may be slower. Adobe Express and Adobe Firefly paid users can take two generative AI actions to create vector graphics or standard resolution images per day. And if you're on a free Creative Cloud, Adobe Firefly, or Adobe Express plan, you can subscribe to a new paid plan to keep creating Firefly-powered assets. Are generative credits pooled in Creative Cloud for Teams or Enterprise plans? The short answer is that generative credits aren't pooled and can't be shared across multiple users. Enterprises may obtain an IP indemnity from Adobe for content generated by select Firefly-powered workflows. Reach out to your account rep to explore this further. The world of generative AI is exciting and always advancing. If you would like to learn more about the speed, scale, and other features of Gen AI that you can bring to your organization, check out the links on this page.